Hi, my name's Steve Connell. And I'm back with another video log from Buenos Aires in Argentina. And I want to talk quickly a little bit about, about travel in general to foreign countries. Uh, some people become quite fearful and in some ways won't travel outside of their home countries. And that's fine, that's, you know, that's, that's cool. And for me, travel broadens the mind, but on occasions it also loosens the bowels. I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to go to a foreign country and experience other people's cultures, uh, broadens your horizons. It's, 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 very, it's very, very worthwhile. But I understand that some people don't want to do that. And of course, it's like anything, really, you should take some precautions. And I think we get tied down with terrorism, we get tied down with things like kidnap and ransom, and we, we over, overstate the risk, the actual risk. And in most countries, the risk of those sort of things are actually quite small. However, what you find when you read the government websites about the countries you're visiting, is that they very, very often warn you about common, common, common criminals. These are the people that are always going to take advantage of you, no matter what city you are in the world. And it doesn't matter whether you're in Argentina, whether you're in Tokyo, in Japan, whether you're in London, in UK, or whether you're in New York City. There are some places in the world that are just... Uh, got people there that are willing to take advantage and either steal from you or to do you harm. And there are a multitude of different scams that people use to try and uh, part you from your money. Everything from non-violence, violent scams, right through to quite sophisticated uh, threats of violence at the very least, and in some case violence. But to be honest, most people actually go away and have a, a very, very fulfilling experience. Experiencing the culture, the music, uh, the food, the drink, and have a great time. And I think most of the time that common sense should prevail. Certainly in the UK, and I know in the US, the State Department and in the UK, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office always put out a, a briefing about the country that you're planning on visiting. It will give you such things as the location of the embassies, how to contact them, what consular services are offered. And so they can be a real, real help. And in some cases, you've got the facility to be able to register your presence in the country by putting in your dates that you're going to be there, so that at least people know that you're there. So how do you prevent them against criminals? I think probably the easiest way is just to blend in too many people go on holiday and they are obvious tourists. You can spot them a mile away. You know, they come down, they're wearing their daft shorts and their t-shirts. Uh, the younger generation tend to, tend to throw caution to the wind and party on. And that can get them into all sorts of trouble because they don't understand the culture, they don't understand the local laws. So there are all sorts of ways in which tourists can become trapped within the legal system and the criminal system of the country that you're involved in. But really, it's, you know, it's all about common sense. It really is all about common sense. I'm walking around Argentina and I'm fairly sure that, you know, I've got a pair of sneakers on, I've got a pair of, a pair of uh, cargo pants, uh, a shirt, just a loose shirt and a jacket to protect from uh, the slightly cold uh, autumn wind. But I don't think anyone taking a glance at me would not take me for being uh, a citizen of Buenos Aires. But you can tell the tourists when they come. Some of them are wearing ridiculous things. You know, they'll wear their most expensive watches or their jewellery and then go out onto the streets. They'll be obviously tourists. They'll be looking at a map or... Uh, asking directions or kind of gazing and scratching their heads and turning around looking for looking for a landmark that they might be able to recognise to get them back onto the beaten track. There's a whole host of different things that stand you out as a tourist and the key is to, it's not just not to do that. You have to be as covert as you can be and to blend in. 
you know, if people are asking you directions in their language, then you've probably just about got it right. So, really the subject of this, this video log is, don't let fear stop you from travelling. Don't let fear prevent you from experiencing the cultures of the world. You know, I've, uh, I've travelled to around about a third of the countries around the planet. That's quite a lot of countries. And very, very rarely have I got into any sort of significant problem that wasn't of my own making. Take some precautions. Do your research before you come. If you can learn a few phrases in language, very simple phrases, very, very simple phrases, like how to ask for something or where is somewhere. You can use your mobile phone. This goes back to mobile phones again. From the last video log, is use your mobile phone and have a translator on there. And then you can just type in keywords, and sometimes just one word will give you the phrase that you need to to get you out of the mess. So there's my short tip, uh, my second urban survival uh, blog, if you like, from uh, from Argentina. The next time you see me, will be somewhere else in the world, and hopefully we can do some more on this theme of urban survival. Uh, I'd just like to point out that right now I'm lost. Um, I really am. So I'm going to have to find either a landmark that I've passed or to turn on my mapping system. I'm in the right area, I just don't know exactly how to get back to <laughs> the hotel that I'm in. Um, quite frankly, I don't mind getting lost because it just enhances the experience. Um, so, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to turn on my GPS. I'm going to just check my mapping system and make my way back. I'm Dave Connell. I'm talking to you from Buenos Aires in Argentina. And I'll see you for the Fam National Families Association next time. Stay safe.